One of my most frequently asked questions is, should I get a private investigator's licence in every state and territory in Australia? The type of clients you have and the type of investigation you do will dictate what you need to do in relation to investigations and what states you're required to be licensed in. For most people, they will only require being licensed in one state because that is where they will do most of their work. However, if you live on the border of certain areas in Australia, you may need to get a license in two states. Here's an example. Where you are likely to need a license in two states in Australia are the following places. On the border of New South Wales and Queensland at Tweed Heads, where the population of Tweed Heads is 89,000 people, it's right next to the Gold Coast where the population is 528,000 people in another state. In the albury rodonga region of Victoria and New South Wales, this I would include in this Canberra as well, you would need a dual licence. albury rodonga alone's population is 104,000 people. In the Mildura area, you'd need a dual licence that's on the border of New South Wales and Victoria. Um, the, the population there is 66,000. I would include that in Horsham, you would need a South Australian licence as well. It really gets interesting if you look at Popel's Corner in Australia, where the border of one territory and two states meet. The population there is zero people, but lots of kangaroos, dingoes, flies, camels, emus, and snakes. I've actually done an investigation at Popel's Corner. It's right here in the Simpson Desert. It's where three time zones meet. And uh, it's the corner of the boundaries of Queensland, South Australia and Northern Territories. I'm Mike Evans from the Australian Security Academy.